Note that the dimensions used in this procedure are just a starting point. Some components of the kit are provided at 20 by 30 centimeters to give you the flexibility to customize the length based on your assay's need. Select your membrane and conjugate pad of choice from the starter kit and cut your conjugate pad 10 millimeters in width. On the membrane, dispense your protein or antibody, and on the conjugate pad, dispense your gold conjugate. On your membrane, make sure you note which is the test line and which is the control line. Put your membrane in a 37 degree Celsius forced air oven for half an hour and put your conjugate pad in the oven for a full hour. Store both in the included zip bags with desiccant until ready to use. Choose the desired sample pad from the starter kit. Cut it to 18 millimeters wide. Cut the wick pad to 18 millimeters in width also. The backing card has different slits to help direct the placement of each component. You can either use these slits as a guide, or you can change the position of the material to the appropriate position per your assay's requirement. Peel off the membrane liner and don't throw it away. Position the membrane from the bottom slit and make sure it's aligned along the card. Place the shiny side of the liner on top of the membrane and run your finger lightly across the membrane to make sure the membrane is completely stuck onto the backing card. Next, peel off the liner for the wick pad and keep this liner. Align the wick pad from the top edge of the card. Place the shiny side of the liner on top of the wick pad and run your finger across the pad. Peel off the conjugate pad liner. Align the conjugate pad from the bottom slit making sure it overlaps the membrane by one to two millimeters. Place the shiny side of the liner on top of the conjugate pad and run your finger across the pad. Finally, peel off the sample pad liner and align the sample pad from the bottom edge of the card. Place the shiny side of the liner on top of the sample pad and run your finger lightly across the pad. Once all the components are assembled on the card, check to make sure all the materials are overlapping as follows. Alternatively, you can also use a card laminator to help with the assembly process. Typically, a lateral flow strip is around four to five millimeters in width, but you can design your strip at any width per your assay specification. Use a guillotine cutter to set the desired width for your strip and begin cutting. With desiccant, store your finished lateral flow strips in the foil pouch.